Hi, Lauren. Hi, how's it going? I really appreciate you joining me for this special, I guess, episode. To those who are watching, this is Lauren James. Lauren James is a Berkeley trained singer, songwriter with a passion for storytelling. Her sound, which has roots in country, folk, and Americana, evoke a dreamy vintage Western vibe that is reflective of some of her favorite influences, including Casey Musgraves and Johnny Cash. After releasing her debut music video, Home Is Where You Are, which is super cute, um, it went on to be featured on CMT.com, which is huge, and Vivo's True Country playlist. Lauren is currently working on two more music video releases and writing her debut full-length album, Constellations. That's so amazing, Lauren. Look at you. <laughs> Lauren and I go back. How long do we go back, Lauren? Like It's been a long time now. I feel like four or five years now. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It's a little history between Lauren and I. We used to attend a vocal studio in Manhattan. And I remember you mentioning it to me once, you know, how this was new for you to be like singing in front of all of these people. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> you, you, you sound like you've been doing this for a long time. Like you've been, you know, that this is very natural to you. But I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in the beginning when we first met, it was still very new for you, right? Yeah, those were my very first vocal lessons ever was at that um, place. And it was, yeah, it was very nerve wracking because I'd never done it before. I'd always been really terrified of doing it. Um, like even in, in college, I went to my counselor and tried to get out of taking speech class, which is a required course. And I was like, there's just no way, like I'm gonna pass out. Like I can't like be in front of people doing anything. And so um, it's always been something that's really scared me, but I finally was like, all right, this is enough. I'm just gonna have to go do it and do it day after day and it's gonna be so uncomfortable. And then finally, after a little while now, it's you know gotten a little easier, but for a long time there, yeah, it was very nerve wracking. Yeah. Did you notice a change within yourself? Was there a certain show? Was there a certain um, maybe moment in your career that you were like, oh, I actually enjoy this. Like, this is actually fun for me now. The last couple of shows that I did, I started to, you know, have that feeling. And it was like, I still get really nervous, you know, before going on stage, but it sort of settled down a bit. As soon as I start singing, it kind of goes away. And I'm like, oh, this is really fun. Okay, so now I'm sharing, you know, what I've created for these people who came here tonight. I think before I was scared of like, oh, what is everybody gonna think? Like, what right. if they hate it? What if I forget the words? That's like a huge fear of mine. But over time it has gotten um, a little bit easier. Before I was thinking like, you know, like I said, what are people gonna think if I mess up or something like that? But they really don't care actually. They really don't care about you or, your, or if you mess wow. up. You know, they're there because they wanna have fun and they wanna see you having fun. You know, oh, yeah. So that that at some point clicked that we're all here to have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's rooting for you. Nobody wants to see you fail. They want to, you know, have a great time with you. And so that that made it a little bit better for me as well when that sort of clicked into place. Like I can't tell you how many shows I've been to, and when someone is having the time of their life on stage, everyone in the audience is just kind of like okay, let me join in too. Right, yeah, how, how the show goes is definitely sort of the energy that you start with. And even if that's a, a nervous energy, that's okay because that gets your blood flowing and you're like, mm -hmm. okay, like let's do this. So you are mostly self-produced, right? <laughs> like no label, nobody else is kind of meddling, no manager, right? So <laughs> it's, it's you, you are your, your face, you are the business, you are everything creating music that you enjoy and you're able to do it on your own time. There's no like, okay, Lauren, you have to wait till next year if you want to put out this song. Right, yeah, it is really, really nice that I don't have to sort of fit into any kind of restrictions or boxes or anything like that. I get to, you know, write everything and do it my way and all that. But then of course, along with that comes the fact that, you know, I am doing my own 
marketing, I'm in charge of my branding, I'm in charge, you know, there's so many different PR, um, mm -hmm. radio, I'm sort of trying to navigate all of that myself. So you sort of have to be the tools of like many trades. I yeah. guess. At the same time, it's not just all me. I have so many people supporting me, um, especially um, Forrest, my fiance, my parents are really supportive, which is so nice. Um, I know not everybody has that, so I feel very fortunate um, to have them be supportive of this adventure that I'm going on. Um, and I, I couldn't do it by myself. Yeah, I do appreciate that. You know what, that's such great advice too for people who want to be doing what you're doing. The fact that, you know, relying on people closest to you, who is talented at video? Who can, who is able to do that? Maybe you know an editor, maybe somebody's starting out and they just want to try it and, and are looking for a project to work on. Yeah, especially if you find people, um, you know, in your circle or friends of friends who are sort of, um, sort of on the same level as you are, and you know, want to be creative. And you can you can find people who who want to help. You know, and don't be afraid to ask for help. I would say because you, as much as you might want to, you can't do it by yourself. You can't be an expert in all of these things and it's okay you know to have people helping you and you know maybe you can pay them back somehow write them a song or something I don't know but um, <laughs> yeah it's nice it's nice to have of course you know all these different kind of friends who have all these different talents yes. you know you help me I help you or sometimes I help you and I don't expect anything in return it's just kind mm -hmm. of like I want you to do well and this is how I will support you what lessons have you learned that you feel will make your journey easier now because of the fact that you learned them? I think like being on stage and, um, you know, making it the best show that you can, but if you mess up, you know, which I had, especially in the, the earlier days of doing open mics and stuff, I would like go on stage, blackout, <laughs> get off stage, literally so, you know, in the moment but not in the moment at all that my guitar would still be plugged in to the amp and i'm walking off stage and i'm about to pull the whole set down you know, you know this isn't stuff you learn in a classroom this is stuff you literally learn as you're going and i think that's what can be intimidating too is if you didn't you know grow up you know on stage going on tour you know with your dad or something it's all this stuff it's not really common sense stuff it's stuff you have to sort of figure out as you're going um, and you really have to be okay with making mistakes and not letting it feel personal or you know not getting down on yourself I think that's really really important because you are gonna make a ton of mistakes um, and it's just getting getting over that and getting back up again and going to the next thing and just not even worrying about it. Life is the best teacher that you can have. You know, all of your experiences, if you if you didn't take the chance and if you didn't actually go through with them, you know, how would you have learned all of the lessons that you needed to? It's just so amazing to see how far you've come within those years for you to be doing a full album. How does that feel? Well, I'm really excited. Obviously, coronavirus sort of threw a wrench in being able to go out and record. Pretty soon here, we're going to be able to get back in the studio, I think, towards the end of the month. And yeah, I have a bunch of new songs, so I just, I can't wait to share them all. And I'm sure, like, the music video elements to it, too. You mentioning that you have two more coming mm -hmm. your way. Home is Where You Are was really fun. It looked like you guys put it all together and uh, you had a lot of input into what went into it. So do you mind just describing that process? Yeah, definitely. So uh, my fiance, you know, Forrest, yes. he, um, he's an actor, producer, uh, director is what his uh, first love is. And so the entire um, vision for that project was actually his vision. He was very interested in doing a one shot, which um, just means no editing. Mm -hmm. at all so it was just a you know one take through the whole thing and I think that's what made it so much fun too is because it was like all right everyone has to be on their toes you know and we'll do like five or six takes or however many we can and then you know pick the best one and we're really fortunate too because we have a lot of very artistic friends mm -hmm. so we were able to get a professional cinematographer who's a great friend of ours he filmed it Elliot um, 
Uh, we had a few dancer friends come by and help, and it was just so much fun to be working with um, friends, really, you know, who were who were very talented and able to come and help out with it. And with those one take, you know, music videos and all that stuff, it has to be so choreographed and timed. How many takes did it did it uh, until you got the final one that you guys wanted? <laughs> five or six and i believe there were like two that we were between the studio is rented for today that's it and mm -hmm. so you know everyone we gotta get this yeah <laughs> like one shot today like there was no coming back so yeah yeah that's awesome what do you think helps you continue to do what you do like what drives me to keep yes like because sometimes it's scary right mm -hmm. sometimes it's scary to put out a project yeah and I've definitely felt that it's really like the little the little victories along the way that sort of you know like a video game where you're you know grabbing like a coin or something and it's like not all the time but um, you know those little victories or even if you know after a show if I have one person come up to me and is like wow I really loved this one song that means the world to me and that you know gets me to the next part of the journey it's a lot of work but um you know i sent you know hundreds if not thousands of emails for marketing the video and cmt said yes you know what i mean and, and that was that was incredible and so it, it made it validated all the other hours i put in all the other people that said no 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 you know, and then I get the one yes, and that's like, oh wow, okay. I'm on the right track then. And also, I really do love writing music. I always have um, since I was young, and it's just taken a little while to get out of my shell and kind of share that music um, with the world. But, you know, if anything, I always go back to that, just me and my guitar, and that's what I love, and it's sort of, validates again for me why I'm, I'm even trying to get into that sphere in the first place. You know, thousand, I don't, I don't remember the exact quote, but it's like something along the lines of you get 99 no's and all you need is one, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's such a great point, um, which I think a lot of people don't understand the amount of work behind the scenes. They just see, oh, Lauren's on CMT. Wow, like they probably called her and they were like, hey girl, what's up? We saw your video. Hey, I have that and some, I can't remember who somebody did, did ask me that like, oh, did they call you? How did you? Like, no, no, this, this was a lot of in the background, mm -hmm. reaching out to a lot of different people. Who knows somebody at CMT? How can I get in touch? Kind of digging around for, how, you know, however you can get it out there. Absolutely. And I think it, it will it goes to show now that you have that CMT feature, it will be easier for you to go back to those other places that may have paused or may have said no. Now it's like, well, I had last time I got CMT. It adds to your reputation. And now it's kind of like, oh, well, if CMT had her, let me double check. Let me see what's going on here. If I were to ask you, why do you think it's important to pursue your passions, what would you say? Well, a fear that I've always had, you know, you have just one life is, what if you get to the end of it and you are looking back and, you know, you're thinking, wow, what? If, why didn't I, why didn't I try that? Why didn't I do that? I do this now and this is what I wanna do and I fail, you know, at least, at least I did it and I'm not gonna have that thought at the end of, oh, what if, what might've happened if I'd, done what I, you know, felt my heart was calling me to do. And there, you know, there is no guarantee, but I, I'm enjoying the journey of, you know, following my heart, you know, what it, it's always wanted to do and getting past all those, those hurdles. Like when we're old, we're still going to be able to hear your music. And that I think is so beautiful is that it's not going to expire. It doesn't go away. It's just like right. that it lives on. Yeah, that is what's so so cool about it too is the creating part, and it's like you put it out there, um, you know, like a like a painting or a book, and it's there. It is. It's there forever, you know, for anyone to enjoy. That is the really cool part about it. Yeah, amazing. All right, so I guess at this point we can talk about your music and what's coming up next, and what you're excited about. 
Yeah, so for the, the future, um, I have like a ton of songs now that I'm really proud of um, and hoping to put out that full length album pretty soon here, um, Constellations. I want to release a couple singles, I think, before that sort of leading up to it um, and then do, you know, a big fun release party. Well, I'm so looking forward to it. I know that you played some of the songs on Constellations. I, I think you did at your show. Yeah. Yeah, they were really great. So I'm excited for them to be online for everybody else to listen to. Really appreciate speaking with you today, Lauren. This is really great. I know that we've been meaning to catch up. So this was like a great way to do so. I just really appreciate you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for inviting me.